because the rotary valve consists of two parts. And there we go. Brand new bearing here. Bearing. Centering bolt. Third. You can see that. It fits. Engine case, crankshaft, two parts are defining the rotary valve, a valve that is supposed to close and open. Open and close the intake and this needs the tolerance clearance of 0 0.05 if you have an engine case like this I have here 0 0.15 let's check the rotary valve to the front it does not block crank is still turning stop there let's check to the back For the back, 0 0.15 gauge is clamping. Point two. Still doesn't clamp. Yeah, this clamps. You see? Rotary valve, PAP engine here. As you can see, the rotary valve PAP is shorter. This was not extended like the other one, it was just renewed. The shape is also original, renewed to fit an original crank to measure the rotary valve tolerance. It has to be lower, it has to be smaller than 0 0.1 millimeter. Ring, bearing, that's important. We don't have the bolts here, we just will take screws and of course the centering bolt is very important. Closes, opens, closes, opens, closes, opens, closes. And it needs to close 100%. How do we check that? We take that 0 0.1 gouge to the back and see that. Original crank, original case. That is the renewed rotor valve pad I showed you before. And how about to the front? It fits. Shall we measure the second crank? It's a Mattuccelli 57 millimeter stroke. It is from, wait, I always sign it. 2009, so 10 years old. Let's check it. That's the Mattuccelli crank and the same engine case let's pull it in let's see that the Conrad stays up otherwise it clamps down there
Same game, different crank, same engine case. The Matticelli crankshaft. The small engine hearth. Centering bolt. And this time let's put it in before I tighten the screws. Centering bolt first. Rest. We measured before an original Piaggio crank. Now there is a Mazzucelli crank from 2009. So 0.1 gauge. The box. To the back. To the front, blocks. This means, let's show it again. Same to the back. This means that this Mazzucelli has exactly the same dimensions as an original PE. 125 57 millimeter stroke crank. The renewed rubber valve pad fits the Matticelli and the Piaggio. With the renewed engine pad, and what you can see here, I even asked to extend it a little bit. To the front it was here is the old mark it was just here to this area here that's longer than original this was the original one where is the old mark the old mark is here I asked for extending it in this area This crankshaft cheek, together with this area here, is the rotary wealth. The distance between the cheek and the engine case has to be less than 0.1. And the professionists are turning out this area, centered over the bearing seat, they're turning out this welded and higher area to the set value of 0 0.05 so you turn it out then you stop you take it out you measure you put the crankshaft in you measure it and you restart as long as you get these needed 0 0.05 or let's say less than 0 0.1 this is the set value all original engines do have from the Piaggio factory and this is of course self-explaining the needed base for a tuning project. And there we go. We have a real brand new bearing here. And the crankshaft is also pulled in from the other side, you see. In this case, it's a 0 0.05. And now it slides through. And the next bigger size is the 0 0.1 and you will see as this is a case with a renewed rotary valve pad that it will block it blocks it snaps to the back and it snaps to the front in this case it's a 0 0.05 and now it slides through And the next bigger size is the 0 0.1 and you will see as this is a case with a renewed 
rotary weld pad that it will block. It blocks, it snaps to the back and it snaps to the front. Let's show you this rotary weld pad how it looks. It's a brand new one. Let's disassemble the stuff here. You see bearings on both sides. That's the stutter side. And there's a bearing. Even a brand new. It doesn't matter if it's a used bearing, the tolerance is the same. I can show you that later on. And the screws. <laughs> a beast! Sorry. Yeah. Bist du deppert? Ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs> we got some motorbike stuff here. That's an Evelyn's.